hello YouTube uh, in this tutorial in this demo I will show you uh, how to configure range partition practically so uh, in my last video I have discussed about the what is the partition and why you use partition what is the advantage of partition so in this video uh, I, I I'm going to practically perform and how to use range partition and uh, so I'm just log into my look into my database as a sysdba range partition basically maps the row uh, on uh, uh, maps the row on the uh, logical range of columns so means in in you like an employee table there are m number of row and store in the every unique employee number so uh, um, range you can define so from like from 1 to uh, 1 to 100 employee uh, going to different partition and uh, 100 to 200 in number of employee going to another partition um, uh, so in this uh, on the part on the particular number of range uh, you can create the partition uh, this is the range partition basically so just uh, come in to range partition how to use the range partition I am going to uh, so confirm the I am I am just uh, confirm the I am in sys user uh, you can create the partition in any user like create table like range give the name rng range define the enum bracket to 20 size first and salary into number and imp number also number type okay I am just I create the uh, by this command I am just uh, creating the uh, table I want to create the partition that table so uh, right here partition by range this is the keyword and pass the column number imp number on which column you uh, want to create the partition partition key partition by range m number and define here partition name is p1 which values uh, less than like 100 and storing table space I will uh, I will uh, provide the table space name user okay uh, second partition will be p2 and values less than 200 and table space name syst sysox and second partition uh, sorry third partition p3 values less than 300 max i can uh, pass their max value keyword means uh, after the 200 uh, mm, if you insert any employee number it will store in the partition 3 and uh, table space will be system so uh, I create the I, I create the RNG table and uh, in the in the table I have created three partition partition one will partition one will be uh, less than 100 and store will be users table space and uh, less than 200 store will be csx table space and uh, greater than 200 will be max value system store will be system table space so um, uh, uh, i want to check out the uh, this i want to partition table or not partition table uh, there is a uh, there is a view to describe the this partition uh, db underscore uh, tab underscore partition and so dba tab partition uh, help you to just uh, just table name and party to show the partition name column i am just resizing the format ok 
Okay, format 15 of partition name format A20 and save the line hundred and set the pages one hundred select table and uh, owner table name comma partition name from DBA underscore tab underscore partition higher table name equal to RNG okay hit enter so uh, on the uh, table order will be this user and table RNG and there are three partition and P1 P2 and P3 so uh, by the DBA tab partition you can check out any table is and any table is partition table or not and uh, so now I am going to insert the value into insert into I'm, I'm just at, uh, now inserting the value into RNG table and uh, to examine the, is it uh, store is, is this, um, this value uh, is storing on which partition and percent sal salary and percent imp number lm like raj 2000 oh there is some mistake ok sorry this statement is a mistake Values or um, values keywords. Two thousand employee centric. Again, employee Rohit. Three thousand employee number is five. Employee. Shuhil and salary is five thousand range hundred one again employee Lalit four thousand and M number is three three hundred okay select check out the select start from RNG so uh I've just entered f uh, four row, and uh, according to the employee number one five uh, uh, should store in the partition one p one and uh, table space user and uh, this one uh, should store in uh, less than two hundred and it, it should store in uh, p two partition and this should store in the our p three partition. So uh, basically, uh, create the storage and the background level. Uh, so for where the data is stored and uh, uh, it will depends on the table and uh, structure so when you create your table structure and uh, uh, you find that employee number and range partitioning key according to that uh, it will store the owned uh, on the all this data and the background level and uh, manage the easily so uh, for the future purpose uh, so now uh, I have the three partition uh, I have the three partition uh, p1 p2 p1 p2 and p3 if you want to rename that partition you can rename and uh, mm, p uh, mm, p uh, yeah, rename partition from uh, you can rename uh, so uh, I will uh, I will uh, show you um, how, uh, how to add another partition after creating the partition table alter table RNG 
add partition p4 values less than 400 table space sysox oh I got error partition bound must collect higher than on the last partition ok what are table range partition oh, I have got same error Let me check. I will use the 300 value and after that max value the partition bound collect higher than the other part oh sorry actually I have already found I already create, uh, created the max value uh, I already uh, use that so after the 200 uh, all the values are stored in the system table space so I think that's um, that's why I, I that's why uh, I am getting error so, uh, but if you want to rename that partition, uh, uh, you can rename like that all the table RNG, uh, rename partition P1 to P4. Okay, it will rename, and uh, you can check at check out the same command. DBA tab partition yes uh, my p1 partition is rename is uh, p4 partition so uh, in this way uh, you can rename this partition and uh, you can also uh, uh, also alter table rng drop now I am dropping partition partition p Four. Table altered. Now check again. Okay. There is only two partition and select a start from RNG and even and uh, data data also deleted. So yeah. Uh, if you drop any partition and that partition contain any data that data also will be deleted remember that so and 1 and 5 uh, in the partition uh, 1 uh, which later I, I, I have remained that in P4 and after that I drop my p4 partition and my p4 partition contain two rows 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 number row, rows number one and rows number two when i drop my p4 partition then my these two rows will be removed and deleted so uh, you can also truncate partition uh, and partition name in this way you, uh, Trank the val value and at the structure level remain the partition same so only trunk the value so I hope uh, this helps you so uh, in this tutorial uh, we have s we have seen that how to create partition uh, how to rename partition how to add a partition and how to drop a partition and if you want to truncate a partition you can just 
you can uh, truncate the partition so thank you very much don't forget to subscribe